Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect PayPal payments method to your WordPress website in 2023. So today we're delving into the world of online transactions by integrating PayPal as a payments method into your WordPress website. So if you're ready to start accepting payments securely and efficiently, stick around and let's explore this step-by-step -step process of connecting PayPal to your WordPress site. So Let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. We'll have to start by creating a PayPal business account. So visit the PayPal website, go to the URL section, visit the PayPal website. So go to paypal.com and hit the enter button of course so of course just go and log in at your account if you have an account if you don't have an account uh, just go and create an account and make sure as example once you sign up to sign up to a business account make sure to go and create a business account for your own so that's of course if you don't already have one and ensure that your account is verified and ready for, to process the payments of course uh, you'll be able to log in into your account or create an account from the top right corner after that, for me, I already have an account. You'll have now to go and install and activate the PayPal plugin. So go to wordpress.com. Of course, in the same time, I'll just go to my local host. So let's open. And of course, you'll have to go to the top right corner, log in into your account if you have one. If you don't, go and click on Get Started to create an account. As an example, for me, if I click on Login in here, I'll be able to connect with Google or Apple if I don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into my account. So if I click on Create, I'll be able to create with Google, Apple, or email. So email will be the regular one that you will have to enter everything manually for Google and Apple. Basically, it will fill kind of all the information for you. So and here, just go and allow, click on that, and I'll choose my account in here. And this should be good to go. So I'll have to wait, of course, until my account is logged in. And here we are. Now we are logged in into our account without any problem course for me i'll just go and access my local host also so i can install my plugins so for you you'll have gone and install the paypal plugin how to do so just go to this list panel click on plugins and of course i'm not going to do so in here uh no remind me later so let's just wait for this until it loads so basically you'll have to go to plugins here in this list panel click on plugins and you'll have to look for the paypal plugin and add it to access it to your website so yeah You'll have something like this. So go to this list panel, as I said, click on plugins, click on add new, and you'll find in here, search install plugins. So go here and type PayPal. And yeah. So once you type PayPal as an example, you'll have to wait until they search for it. And as you can see, here we are. So we'll find like WooCommerce PayPal payments, uh, payment plugins for PayPal WooCommerce. So basically, just look for the plugin that you want. Of course, make sure to see how many acts of installation they have, the rating, uh, the reviews, last updates, to check whatever you want. Of course, you can even try it first before even like installing it, or you can simply go and click on install now, depending on the plugins that you want right away. So as an example, I choose this one, click on install. And once it's installed, make sure to click on activate, to activate it. So you'll have to add new, as I said, uh, choose the PayPal for WooCommerce or PayPal pay payments for Easy D Digital. Those two are the most known. And of course, download it and install it and activate the plugin. Now you'll be able to configure the PayPal settings and plugin. You can go to plugin settings within your WordPress dashboard, enter the pay uh, PayPal account details, including your PayPal email or client ID slash secrets. Configure the payment settings such as the currency and payments method you, that you want to accept. So if I go here, scroll down, we'll have to look for PayPal as an example that we just downloaded. So yeah, here's it. Like WooCommerce PayPal payments, go to settings. We'll have to access the settings of it. And let's just wait for this page until it loads. And basically, as I said, you'll have to configure the PayPal settings and plugin, connect to my account, and we'll be good to go. So as you can see, here we are. So 
of course, like the all-in-one checkout solution. So even this plugin, it has PayPal, Venmo, PayLater, Visa, Mastercard, and a lot of other stuff. So you can enable pay PayPal payments, include PayPal, Venmo, PayLater with fraud protection. And security accepts all major credits and debit cards to strengthen your things if you want to. So for me, I'll just go and click on Activate PayPal. This will take, take you here to log in into your PayPal account right away. So you will have to enter your credentials as example to log in into your PayPal account. So just enter your credentials as example to log in into that. Click on next. So yeah, I'll just go and enter my code. I don't remember if this is the right code, but let's hope so it is. Yeah, it is. So just go and click. Will you, uh, how will you use this? So primarily for personal use or for business organization. For me, I'll just use for personal. But for you, make sure to select like business and click on agree. And as you can see, that's it. So you can go back or set up automatic transfer or go back to WooCommerce now. And here we are. We already like connected uh, our PayPal to WordPress. Now, of course, if you like, of course, we'll have to wait a bit until this page refresh. So now it's already connected, as you can see. You can, of course, now uh, disconnect that if you want to. You can do uh, or check this option of sandbox to test your WooCommerce installation. And you can use the sandbox mode. So we have here standard payments with PayPal, pay later. So go and check all those settings out by your own and customize those payments as example, however you want. And for you, just you can go even to your website and set up a PayPal button or payment forms, insert like a PayPal buttons on your website. And before even going live on your website, enable the sandbox mode and within the PayPal plugin settings and test the payment process using PayPal sandbox environment to ensure transactions simulate real payments without involving actual funds. Then review your website payment process and ensure all payments or all PayPal payments buttons and form functions correctly uh, working once satisfied just disable sandbox mode and make your website live for real transaction and regularly monitor your paypal account and wordpress back end for successful transaction and finally keep track of your payments refunds and any issue that may arise so that's gonna be it for me congratulations for you you've successfully connected payment uh, paypal as a payments methods for your wordpress website so thank you for joining me today uh, to the seamless and secure transaction uh, or connection with PayPal to your WordPress site. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching, goodbye, and I will catch you in the next video.